Hi, my name is Andy. Welcome to Med School EU. And the topic of today's lecture will be the last one on the list for bioenergetics, which will be fermentation. And fermentation is the process of anaerobic respiration where our molecules do not have oxygen in order to enter the mitochondrial matrix and undergo aerobic respiration. So oxygen is not available, therefore pyruvate molecules undergo the process of fermentation. And in this video, we're gonna talk about all the little things that occur in the process. But first, let's get a little glance at fermentation overview, why it occurs, and let's take a look at the general picture that happens within a cell that is undergoing a strenuous exercise. So for example, we have a uh, muscle cell that is uh, undergoing strenuous exercise, meaning that oxygen is not making its way into the cell, and our pyruvate will have to undergo a different process in order to keep the cell alive with enough ATP in order to function. And we'll see how this happens in this video. So. What we have is the pyruvate molecule can, has two options. It can either enter our mitochondria into the matrix right here, matrix, where it, it would undergo cellular respiration, which we talked in great detail in the two previous videos. Uh, it, but this only occurs if oxygen is plentiful within the cell. So we could even have oxygen within the cell, but if it's not enough, then oxygen will, or the pyruvate, will not diffuse through the two membranes into the mitochondrial matrix to undergo cellular respiration or undergo aerobic respiration. It will then, if the oxygen levels are low, so here oxygen is low, the pyruvate will stay in the cytosol. So it will remain inside the just floating in the cell without entering any of the mitochondrial organelles and it's going to undergo the process of fermentation now depending on which type of cell it is it's either going to produce lactate or it's going to produce alcohol so alcohol will be produced by microorganisms such as yeasts so if you know yeasts are prokaryotic organisms and it's a microorganism and it's, a, it's going to produce, produce alcohol uh, as, a, as, as the product of fermentation from pyruvate. Whereas in humans, we're going to produce, produce lactate or lactic acid. Uh, this would be for the majority of animal cells. We're going to produce a lactic acid as the byproduct of fermentation of pyruvate. And Lactic acid is actually a toxic structure for our bodies, which will then have to be eliminated as a byproduct of our respiration cycle. So we're going to discuss both processes, but first let's talk about lactate fermentation since that's the one that actually occurs in humans and most animals. Uh, so what we've got is first just the process of glycolysis we have our six carbon glucose molecule that will then produce two atp through the process of glycolysis and two pyruvate molecules and what happens next is that the pyruvate will then be reduced to lactate so this is a lactate or lactic acid molecule that has again the three carbons but it has the OH right here and uh, th this would be the lactate it is a toxic molecule that the body will have to get rid of after the exercise is over and uh, the most important thing about this cycle and why it's useful for us because why would we want to produce a toxin called lactate in our bodies what's the point of that well the whole point of fermentation or lactate fermentation is that we're going to produce these NAD plus and why it's important because it's a substrate it's a substrate for our glycolysis and glycolysis requires NAD plus in order to produce NADH and ATP so if we continuously produce 
NADH, if NADH, if NAD plus is available, we are continuously going to undergo glycolysis. And glycolysis produces two ATP for us. So it's extremely helpful because then the cell is not completely deprived of ATP. I mean, we're not producing the same as cellular respiration with if oxygen is available because then we produce 38 as our theoretical yield. Here we produce two, it's a lot less. However, it's better than producing nothing, right? So we're going to continuously break down glucose when oxygen is not available in order to produce our 2 ATP. And as long as we have NAD, NAD plus available as a substrate for glycolysis, and we're going to continuously undergo glycolysis to produce our 2 ATP molecules so the cell could survive. The cell could still undergo its metabolic functions and survive and that is the whole idea of fermentation and why we even produce this toxic byproduct of lactate because it, it provides us with a little bit of energy for the cell to continue its function. Now looking at alcohol fermentation which occurs as I said in microorganisms such as yeasts and we, we use um, our yeast to produce bread right because it's going to um, make bread grow, the, the dough is going to grow as we bake it and this is why we add yeast into the solution so that they continuously undergo fermentation as they're deprived of oxygen. They will continuously undergo alcohol fermentation and it's going to blow up the bread and make it, make it very, very big it, rather than if we don't use yeast in order to ferment our dough, the dough will be very low, it's not going to rise in the stove. So this is used a lot for baking and alcohol fermentation is used to, of course, make alcohol. Uh, so what we have is, uh, again, the same process. Glucose goes through glycolysis, producing our pyruvate. And the pyruvate will undergo uh, the reduction. So first, this will be acetaldehyde, acetaldehyde. So it, this process is a little bit different than uh, what we see in lactate fermentation because here we actually get rid of a carbon molecule. So carbon dioxide will be produced as a result of alcohol fermentation, whereas in ethanol or in lactate fermentation, CO2 is not going to be produced because we still, remember in lactate, we still have the three carbon molecule, whereas here for our ethyl alcohol so this is ethyl alcohol and ethyl alcohol we only have two carbons right here so this is this this is why we release the co2 however the idea is the same with alcohol fermentation because we continuously are going to produce our nad plus and this NAD plus will be used as a substrate for glycolysis so that we can continuously break down glucose and produce our two ATP molecules because we have the substrates for it. So th th it's going to keep the cycle going, producing a little bit of ATP for the cell to function in an uh, environment that does not have enough oxygen to undergo cellular respiration. So we finally reached the end, the last topic of fermentation, and in the next video, we're going to talk a little bit about life cycles as we begin the topic of reproduction and inheritance.